All right, David Hill here, HSPN West. We're here on the campus of Etiwanda High School. I'm here with Coach Kevin Davis. And, Coach, we've had a chance to talk earlier in the day, had a pleasant conversation earlier in the day. But here I come tonight, and it's my last practice of the day, and I'm watching. And now I'm not watching. I'm watching you, and you're 100 miles an hour. You said that at the end of the practice, and it's very true with what I watched. And I watch tempo here, and I watch energy. I want to know from you, how critical is that when you're getting this football team ready for a game situation? Yeah, that's huge. I appreciate it. Obviously, I asked you kind of what you thought, right? But uh, honestly, I mean, we talked to the boys all the time. I'm sure it's probably the funnest practice for the boys Wednesday nights. We got the music going, crowd noise, trying to just build an atmosphere, number one, I think. And then number two, I think it's really just about situations, quick change, all those things where, you know, as, as a cliche, but you try to make practice tougher than the game, right? But I think our guys have, you know, over the years have figured out, hey, Wednesday night, there's no time for, you know, downtime. We're moving and grooving, and I try to set the tone, obviously, best I can, run around, out of shape, right? But uh, <laughs> but I think the guys will. I think they enjoy it. We try to make it fun, but also we have a battle between offense and defense yeah. uh, within there, and they, whoever uh, wins gets to eat uh, team meal first on Friday and stuff. Okay. So anything we can do to kind of have guys compete, which is always good, always I, good. Right? I think you got that done. There's no question about that uniquely different pace of practice practice that I saw and I see a lot of them. My next question for you, we talked about four of, of whom you consider to be impact level players. I want you to talk to me about what those guys mean to this football team, Kendall and Lawrence and some of those guys and the way that you think they're going to impact this football game and the rest of the season. Yeah, they already have. You know, this is my year, my third year and these guys have been the heartbeat for the program. You know, Kendall's the, 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 the lone underclassman, but uh, I'll tell you what, I mean, Alec Anderson, all these guys are either three or four year guys for us. Um, Alec Anderson, you'll go to Washington State, but he's a guy that sets the tone in practice like we just talked about and he's always going 100 miles an hour, 6'5", 270, obviously, right? And he's always with, guy with you know, going with the motor. You know, Johnny Venable on the defensive side, he'll tell you, I'm on him a lot, but I'll tell you what, he, this mm -hmm. kid's playing banged up, injured by this time in the year. Everybody's playing banged up, but I got so much respect for this kid who's who's battled and, uh, you know, wound up kind of changing some positions for us, playing safety now for us, and he's been huge. Had a pick six last week. Um, I said, Kendall, our, our lone underclassman, um, I said, he's just he's just a guy that kind of shows up, puts his hard hat on, goes to work with his lunch pail. Okay. And I said, our only uh, underclassman captain. All right, and then Lauren Starks, I'll tell you what, love that kid. I love all these kids, but Lauren Starks, I'll tell you what, our only two-year captain. Um, running back, got hurt last year. I'll tell you what, the patience he's had and the work ethic to come back and uh, lead this team. And I said, now he's got uh, almost 1,000 yards in the first six games has been, has been huge. So all four of those guys will be huge for us, hopefully, Friday night. They'll be exciting to watch, no doubt. And then lastly, you're going into Friday night's game, big rivalry game and what have you. What do you tell this football team are the keys to them being successful Friday night and coming away with a victory? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, what's, what's Chino Hill, first of all, we always talk about ourselves, but obviously we're going to game plan for who we play. Chino Hills has always been known historically and, and as of late with Coach, uh, Coach Stevens, they're, a bunch of guys are going to play hard, right? They're going to play hard, play play 1,000 miles an hour and get after it. They're aggressive on defense, always have a good front seven. So, we're, you know, we're going to try to get these guys in space if we can, right? Try to get our athletes in space against these guys. Defensively, they have a uh, mobile quarterback. We've got to make sure we're, you know, we're gap sound and everything else, right? Keep him in the pocket if we can. But, uh, you know, just execution. I always feel like we have a great game plan going into it. Sounds cliche again, I know, but we just got we to execute. I feel like we have a great matchup against these guys. Last year was a close one, and uh, I really feel like we execute. We should have uh, come out with a great uh, great win. I think uh, you hit all aspects of the game, everything that everybody would want to know and hear from offense to defense to special teams and your pace was enormous today. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, I'm exhausted just watching so I'm very, very grateful for the time that we got a chance to spend here tonight and wish you the best of luck as you go into appreciate the game Friday it. night. Appreciate Thank you, you Coach Davis. Right, HSPN it. Sports, David Hill, here with Kevin Davis. Thank you, Coach.